Good evening, Corona City Council. Tom Richens, 1031 East Grand Boulevard. This last, apologize, this last planning commission meeting that we had last week, I had the ability to, uh, with the assistance of the city clerk, go and research the last five times that a planning commission has rejected a project in the city of Corona. I, I put on the record in that meeting, and I was incorrect, that it had been 16, 16 years since the last time the Planning Commission rejected a proposal with the help of, and I'm gonna murder this name and I apologize now, with the help of Alicia Padilla Vacaros, who was a Planning Commissioner in 2009, and I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, Alicia. She, she let me know that there was one more rejection in 2009. So in this public meeting, I'd like to revise that number, but I'd still like to let it stand that it's been eight years since our planning commission has rejected a project. That to me, from someone who comes from the building industry, tells me we have a broken system. So other speakers reference the tunnel of love that's been going around social media. I grasp onto that because it's a catchy phrase, but it's a phrase that's accurate. This last planning commission meeting, Rexco, who donates to city council campaigns, decided to import dirt illegally and then have their project brought before the planning commission. When a planning commissioner questioned this activity, we had a city employee say, well, that was just part of the grading plan of, of the general area, so it's no big deal. The planning commissioner then questioned Rexco, and Rexco said, yeah, we made a mistake and we apologize. And, and that's, that's the atmosphere we have here in Corona. We have developers that contribute to campaign contributions, campaign re-election campaigns, and then they feel they own our city. They feel they can move 400 loads of dirt onto a site. We have a community development department that will bring a developer into backroom, conference room tables, but they don't bring the members. They don't bring the citizens in. Jamie Merchant and her, her fellow citizens, her fellow homeowners, they were shocked to have Rexco develop right next to their housing establishment. Not once, not once did this community development department bring the citizens in. I don't know why. The citizens are more important than developers, at least in my opinion they are. Tom, we get some time here, so. I what? I said watch your time. We've got a few more seconds. Okay, thank you. I brought for each of you guys a copy of the last six rejections, and uh, I'll give it to the clerk to distribute to you guys. Last but not least, there was a comment that was very shocking to me, and I know I'm red and I'll make it and I'll wrap it up. At the end of the commission meeting, a planning commissioner spoke and he blatantly said, if a project makes it to us, the planning commission, there is no need for us to reject it. That is the doctrination that's going on there. No Thank you very much for coming, it. Tom. Appreciate it. Mr. Joe Morgan. <clears throat> 